right now we in Georgia and off the highway was another Nike outlet um, somewhere around here so we about to pull up to that and see what's popping inside man um, I'm not sure where it's at but we'll find it and this outlet is called Tanger outlet there goes Nike and Converse on the left hand side y'all see it but sometimes the logo on the building doesn't represent the actual building so but we'll find it though We'll find it. What's poppin' homies? It's your boy Frank Nitty back in the building. Yo, right now I'm in Pooler, Georgia at Tanger Outlets. And it's a plane about to land, damn. It's an airport right over there. Interesting. But anyways, man, um, I found this outlet like literally driving off of I-95. I-95 is behind me. <laughs> Sorry, I'm pointing the camera every which way. But yeah, that's I-95, so as I was driving by, I was like, oh shoot, an outlet? Let's see if we got Nike, and it did. So I'm about to go inside and see what's popping. Never been here, and y'all know through my trip or visiting every state, I've been looking for an outlet that's off of I-95. I'm not trying to veer off too far. But if it's like rear, like literally off the highway, you know, I'm gonna pop in and see what's popping, man. So that's where, I, that's what I've been doing, and that's what I'm doing. All right, so I'm gonna go inside and see what's popping, man. See y'all in a bit. Peace. Man, if y'all from Pooler, Georgia, man, let me know how y'all outlets are. Are they trash, they garbage, they dope, and similar to mine in Orlando? What am I gonna find, man? I'm gonna find some heat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see some sitters, man. Let me know. Yo, that was quick. I found Nike as soon as I bend the corner, man. So I parked in a good spot. Let's go inside and see what's popping. It's kind of big too. Like the men's in the the men's <laughs> the men's on the far left corner. As soon as you walk inside. Um. First, I'm gonna take a look at some clothing and see if they have anything different. Just some workout attire. Nothing crazy, some Jordan in the far back. Nothing really. I guess the same old, same old. Just do it joggers. I got the pants, Jordan sweater, Jordan tee. So I pull up right to the hash wall, man. Found a few things. Size 14, this era of Tempos 95s, then 129. I also found these Just Ons. I don't know the Just On what. Let's take a look at them. Just Ons. <laughs> the 312s. I guess it's the box they came in. I didn't even know like they had a special box. I can see 312 NRGs. Same thing with that one. I find another Jordan box. Let's see what's in this one. Oh, the 14s are past. Bro, they got a lot of these 312 in this box, bro. I don't remember seeing the 312s in that box. I remember seeing the 312s in like boxes like these. But in that blue box, that's something new to me, man. Like, like this is a 312. This is the box I remember seeing them in, just with the lid. The other blue joint, that's a surprise to me. Um, 20% off the back wall. I don't see nothing. That's crazy. I guess these might be coming to an outlet near me because it's the second store I've seen these joints in. Same price, 50 20% off the all black Air Force lows. They also got these at Air Max 1s. Jordan 8s, what they going for? I think I saw them cheaper in Brooklyn, New York though. They're small size, 312s, Elements. Um, excuse me, oh, I'm sorry. So right now, I'm in the basketball aisle. These are PGTBs. I don't know much about those, man. They got a, bro, is that the same color? Oh, not two different colors. But um, anyways, man, they're both going for 90. Uh, you got the black and white joints as well. I guess these like collegiate shoes or team shoes. I don't know what TB stands for. Team ball. <laughs> Kobe joints. Yeah, hard pass. Hard pass on the rest of these joints. We're in the Jordan aisle right now. Uh, these Pro Show Reacts for 80 with 20% off, but guess what? These are never dying, bro. They're back in the outlet. The Mellow 13 for 160. Only size 12, though. That's it. Size 12, man. And then you got these sixes. Um, nostalgia sixes, I believe. 139. No additional discount. Size 10, 10, 11, 13, 13. And then you got the Black History Month twos. The 99 with 20% off. I'll pass on those. I keep hearing the good ball issues, though. Pass. $60, but not that many sizes left. The breads are gone, man. Size 11, 11, 12, 
the medicine ball joints, the Bo Jacksons. So let me know if y'all like them, man. They're cool, but they're going for 160, though, man. I'm not even sure if that's worth it. I'll pass, though. That's pretty much it for the Jordan now. And these are generics. This was a Jordan now right here. Uh, we got Bender's Corner. See those just popping. Um, this is like the Air Max section right here. This color's not that bad. 80 for those. I like this black and gray joint, 95 for those. Um, Air Max of Tempos, 90 for those. 80 for these. Yeah, they're all going for 90s. Damn, the price went back up. It's the second out. I seen for the same price. And then you got the element joints. They got care for them. Pass, pass. Pass on some of these. Some of these we see back in Orlando, man. Same price, 44 with 20% off. They have a few sizes left. And these D brakes, we saw this at the outlet on International. And this color I haven't seen though. What is that? A lavender miss. $80 for those. Yo, people that I found, man. These more Mars landed size four, $40 with additional 20% off, which would be 31 if y'all want them. They're here. I'm gonna leave them here for y'all, man. Come through, scoop them. I have these Jordan 1 lows, 40 with 20 off. A few sizes, seven, seven and a half, nine and a half, tens. But that's cheap, man. The lavender color. Um, this is the this is the rest of the aisle. Nothing crazy, man. We about to flex though. I can't find any else, anything else to report. That's dirt cheap. Corner, see if there's anything else. It's the Air Max section, nothing, nothing really. Joy rides right here. I think there's one more aisle. I think we could find something. Some Jordans, but you know, I don't know what those are. I definitely don't know what the hell these are. Pass on those. Well, these were here. Tattoo fours for 129. And the uh, Jordan 1 Rebels for for 80. 200 or 270s, 97s. That's it, man. They got a few things they got put in the aisle. I guess it's on this rack right here. Man, I'm about to flex out of here, man. This was a quick little trip, quick stop to this uh, Tanger outlet in Pooler, Georgia. But I know about all Tanger outlets. I feel like they're outdoor type malls, man. See, it's not like one shop. Well, I guess all outlets is like that. But this looks more obvious, man, because, yeah, my fault. I don't know why I thought <laughs> like this was different than the other outlet, man. All outlets are like this, open space. I'm back in the sneaker office, man. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you guys for watching my previous video, man. Give you a, a recap of my trip. Flew into New York, I think that was Wednesday. Hit the road Thursday morning early. Pull up to a Brooklyn, New York outlet, as I always do every time I visit um, Brooklyn, I always pull into that outlet. Um, they had a few things, nothing that would make me want to cop, man. They did have those Animal Pack 3s. I'm not sure what you guys are calling it. But they have them in the box, and I'm get to reason why that's important later. Uh, Cause I did say those shoes were hitting the outlet, and that's why I'm gonna pick my pair up. Even though on the sneakers app they're gone, but nevertheless they had uh, three pairs behind the counter. None of them was in my size. Uh, fast forward, went to North Carolina. I think it was Smithfield. Uh, if I'm right, Smithfield, uh, North Carolina. Pull up to their outlet. Uh, they had a few shoes in there. I saw those um, all black Air Force Max lows. Yeah, I know I like my Air Force Max to poop in. There was 59 with 20% off. I think that was a good deal, man. Um, I thought that was a good deal. Uh, they had the Jordan 19s there in white, and they had the single day fours in red. Um, left that outlet, pulled into my last outlet of the trip, which you guys just watched, which is in Pooler, Georgia. Um, that outlet was also off of I-95. They had a few shoes in there. I saw those same Air, all black Air uh, Force Max 90, I don't want to say 95. Those all Air Force Max um, in the building as well. They had them for $60. I think they had additional 20% also. Uh, but I saw them on the hash wall. They had the 312 twos, which threw me off, man. That box, man. I don't remember seeing that box. I remember seeing the those shoes, the 312s that is, and the all black with the gold Jumpman foil box that's how i remember seeing them and that's all i remember and then that threw me off man uh what else they had in the building they had the mellow 13s which we see them everywhere only size 12 though and to the left of that they also had the nostalgia sixes and to the left of that they had the black history months twos um which was cool you know what i'm saying all reasonable price i guess 
And then um, for women's, they had the tat. Uh, I'm sorry, tattoos. I keep saying them tattoos, which I want to apologize because I did say tattoos in the video, but they're the single day fours. They had one pair left. I think it was like a small size, man. But for 129, you can't beat it. Now North Carolina clearly had a lot more pairs than um, Georgia. Uh, there's only a few pairs left, man. So it shows you that shoes sell out regionally, man. I think it's a situation where probably in that area, for some reason, people like those shoes a lot. And it also depends on the quantity that they got. Now, I am excited to pull up to my outlets locally because I haven't been. So today is when this video is going up. Was this Wednesday? No, today's Monday. Well, my days are off, man. Today is Monday. So I'm pulling to my outlets uh, next couple days and see what's popping in our stores. I'm sure a lot of shift has happened since I haven't visited the outlets in probably over a week locally in Orlando since I'm from Orlando, not North Carolina. So I saw in a few comments asking me, you know, what outlet this is. Yo, I tried my best to leave description in the outlet. I tried my best to record as I speak, as I'm walking, as I'm talking. Where I'm at, I don't remember everything, man. Clearly, not even in my area, so far less that location, Georgia, North Carolina, Brooklyn. I'm just excited to see what's in my outlets, man, and that's what I'm about to do. I'm going to post my outlets uh, here shortly. Um, not to be in today, but a few few days leading up to Saturday. I hope I can venture to like maybe all of them somehow. Then record and see what's popping, man. I'm looking to get those uh, those animal packs. Oh, they're not animal packs, but those uh, Safari 3s, whatever you want to call them. Um, I'm looking to get those, man. Um, I got a lot of people hit me up saying that they saw a full size run. Several different people. Before I left, while I was on away, and while I'm back, and I'm probably gonna get my pair for cheap, man, below retail. The only thing is, as I mentioned earlier in Brooklyn, New York, the Brooklyn, New York retain the box, the lids. They don't cut them, they put them behind the counter, and they sell for the price. The clearance store is gonna cut the lids, you know, with this one 20% off, but who cares? I actually want that shoe, and I can't wait to rock it. In other words, I'm hunting for a pair here shortly, so I could care less, man. So long as the fur intact, the shoe's wearable, they got the shoelaces, I'm Gucci, man, because that's something I'm gonna throw on the feet ASAP Rocky, man. That's it, that's my video for this uh pooler georgia nike outlet tanger uh vlog man thank you guys for pulling up thank you for supporting the channel your boy get back to you as soon as possible when you leave those comments i'm kind of out of order man so hit that subscribe hit that notification bell as well don't leave don't forget to leave your comments down below and i'll get back to you all right you already know my slogan good to go it's a wrap